Hello, a super warm welcome to you. We've had to jump on a quick video because we thought we'd share some amazing news with you. We have been absolutely inundated, haven't we, Ruth? It's with crazy. Inquiries. Um, I know we've had, we're in a financial crisis, um, but what we've been seeing in terms of creation station activities is more people are booking um, after school clubs, holiday camps, the birthdays have gone through the roof, and we are saying no to quite a lot of inquiries because we don't have anyone in that area. So we are launching a new creative ambassador grant. It's worth £4,000, a staggering £4,000. We'll share some details about that in a moment. But we're also going to share some details of what some of our franchise partners are doing with their business. Those who've been running for seven years plus and some details of people who have just launched. So Ruth, can you tell us about the Creative Ambassador Grant? What is it and how do people apply for it? Oh, OK, I'm really excited about this, Sarah. I can't believe we're managing to do this right now. But the demand is so great that we are looking for exceptional candidates, really sparkly people to come on board, launch their franchise, their Creation Station franchise, um, with all our creative themes. This is working with families in the education sector and with grown-ups, creative grown-ups in your communities. And in order to do that, we have created 10 creative ambassador grants of £4,000 each. This is a pot of £40,000 that we have secured. And we are looking for 10 exceptional sparkly candidates in the right communities where these inquiries are coming in, Sarah, that I just can't get enough of our team out to because they're so busy. So if we can match this fund with the right people in the right locations, this is where the magic happens. So yes, Creative Ambassador Grant is now open. Great. So how do people apply? Okay, so we have discovery events, which we host on Zoom several times a month. They are typically at half past seven on an evening, on a Monday and Wednesday. On our website are all the dates of these that you can book into. It's an informal chat. And if we're lucky, I get really excited, Sarah, when we manage to include you, invite you in. Sarah joins in the, the discovery event as much as we can. It's a very busy lady. But I also bring in some of our team members who are currently doing such great work across the UK. And we just have a chat and explain the, the opportunity. And in coming on to that, you are pre-registered to be considered for a Creative Ambassador Grant. Brilliant. So if somebody's been to a discovery event, um, do they just ping you an email, Ruth at the Creative Station? Perfect. Do you know, if you have recently um is um being to a discovery event you'll you'll know that you can just book a chat directly with me if you've been a wee while ago let's still book in that chat and i'll bring you up to speed and explain to you one-to-one -one what's available and maybe things have changed for you and now is your time um to get sparkly with the creation station love it thank you very much Ruth. Um, and i thought we thought because there's so much going on that Fingers crossed, once a month, we're going to give you an update from our network, like a video update of what is actually happening behind the scenes. And oh my goodness, it has been super busy. Um, Ruth, can you give us a quick rundown of some of the amazing stuff that's been happening okay. in I our network? I know, I'm so excited to do this because there's some name shout outs for, for, for our team who are just doing some really fantastic work. So we have Emma Winterbourne in TAME, who's been with us more than seven years can you believe it? This is her busiest birthday month ever, Sarah. She's had more parties this month, back-to-back -back parties, than she has had in any other month in seven years. Our birthday parties are being incredibly popular. Even in the current situation, what we're actually saying to mums um, is, you know, club together, let's do joint birthdays. And they're proving, as Emma's shown, we're knocking it out of the ballpark. So Emma and birthday parties, just showing you how popular they really are. Fantastic. And we had a, a lady up in the northeast, Philippa, uh, was next door to an, another amazing franchise partner, Vanessa. Vanessa, for personal reasons, decided to sell her business. Uh, she'd been running it for four years. Uh, her circumstances changed, so she was looking for somebody to buy her franchise. Philippa decided to buy it. So, which is lovely because they're going to continue to work together. Uh, Vanessa wants to carry on, but not she's not able to continue running a business at the way she was before. So Philip has just bought her second franchise, which is great news. We're really thrilled for her. Um, what other developments have been happening in the network, Ruth? 
Well, I'm really excited up in Scotland. Scotland's obviously got a little bit of my heart. I'm, I'm, I don't sound it, but Scotland's where I'm where my I grew up. So up in Scotland, we've got the amazing Gillian, who is just getting so very very busy and is looking um, to take on. She has a busy preschool program, our little explorers, but now is ready to take on Create Club because our after school program, the length and breadth of the UK, is busier than it's ever been. We've got Holly. You remember, Holly has just trained. This is her first term, Sarah has just got her second school um, and she's amazed because she said, Ruth, my, my business plan was three by next year. And I went, we're going to get three by Christmas. And we're certainly on track to do that. No, it's fantastic. And Esther trained a couple of months ago and actually at the end of training, she had I think it was six clubs. She does a breakfast club. Not everyone has to do breakfast clubs, so don't worry. If you've, if you've got manic mornings, but Esther decided to go for it. She's got um, her breakfast clubs, her after school clubs. She's also doing lunch clubs, and we're working with our network to run activities within the school hours, co curricular uh, activities as well, which has been going down a storm as well. So, our network are busier than ever, uh, bringing that magic and creativity into people's lives. But we need more amazing people to run their own creative business. So if you're interested, get in touch with Ruth. Uh, ping me an email. Um, I'm Sarah. Uh, and I hope you like our little update. And hopefully we'll give you another update next month. Yeah. Keep Bye, safe. everybody. See you. Bye. Bye.